Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, hi, I am Evelyn and I do anything that's cruelty free like makeup, skincare and all that good stuff. Um, but before you leave, don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any new videos that I have. By the title of the video, you guys see that I'm doing a full face of Pacifica and um, I have a few different products that I purchased and I figured I could do a full face with it and see how it goes. So if you guys want to see my full face using Pacifica, then just keep on watching. So here's the box. I did the order on Ulta because at the Ulta store that I go to, they don't really carry Pacifica like makeup in there. Um, it's usually just like skincare, hair care, and all that stuff. But uh, they left the beauty out for some reason. So I have the products in here so just to give you a glance just a few products so i'm gonna take all of these out and we can go over them because i can't really remember what i ended up getting all righty on the products that i purchased um i just realized that i didn't get anything for my brows but I did look into it and they actually don't have any eyebrow pencils uh, when I looked on their website so they don't have any and then I did just see like a brow gel kind of just to set your brows um, and I don't know if Ulta had that maybe they did and I completely forgot about my brows but I'll see how I can do this how I can make it work because um, I don't have that but I picked up a setting spray, a foundation, a CC cream, and I'll go over these when I use them. Um, a mascara, a like gloss, a eyeshadow palette, concealer, uh, a setting powder, and then um, it's a. I got another palette that has like eyeshadows and also like blush bronzer and everything so it was all in one it was all in one palette so i just figured it would just be convenient to do that now online when you're doing something online it's kind of hard to see the colors so obviously i don't know the foundations like the shades if they're good they're going to be matching right or anything but i figured you know i'm still going to try it and see if i can make it work now um the cc cream and then the foundation are their older versions because they did they did come out with the new foundation so i'm not testing the new one but i figured why not start from you know what they've had before and then work myself up if i feel like it works for me and everything then i can move on to the new stuff and just try different things you know so i think i'm gonna go in with this one and we're gonna hope that this goes good um so i'm trying to think maybe i'll start with the eyes so if there's any fallout, then I can just clean it up. So I have this palette right here, which is their Beachy Punk uh, Coconut Infused Mineral Eye Shadows. So that's what it looks like. So it's a, just a smaller compact um, palette. And that's what it looks like. And um, I don't think they had eyeshadow primer unless I missed that. See, I'm not even organized for this, but I figured I'd just do it. And then, um, so I think I'm going to have to prime with uh, the concealer I got. And this one also is their previous one, not the new one that they just came out with. And this is their Caffeine Wake Up Energized Radiance Dream Lit Under Eye Brightener. It's uh, very thin. Looks like that. This is in the shade Bear. One thing I do have to say with Pacifica is that their range is very not big as far as the shades they offer. So um, I know it's probably something they're working on, but uh, yeah, that's the only thing that it could be hard to find something that will match you correctly. Um, so I'm gonna grab this to prime my eyelid. I'm gonna do one. Um, I'm gonna do one eye first and then I'll do the other one off camera so it doesn't take so much time, but I'm gonna go ahead and place this on. And then I'm just gonna use a moto brush. This is their shader just to blend this out. So 
you can see how this covered my hyperpigmentation that I have so that's with nothing that's with it on so that gives me some coverage there all right so I'm gonna go in with this one the, the beachy punk I'm gonna grab this like pale pink and I'm gonna use that just to kind of set the concealer I placed down so I'm gonna grab this one Alrighty, then the next shade I want to grab is the one that's next to the pink and I'm going to put that as like a transition color. I'm going to use another wet and wild brush. It's more like a smaller tapered brush. I'm going to put it here. Whoa. So I'm going to add it here and then I'll kind of blend it out. Then I'm just going to grab this uh, Real Techniques, this is the Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm going to use this to kind of blend this out. So that blended pretty nice actually. But yeah, I would say dip in your brush very slowly. Um, don't put too much at first because you saw that that was very pigmented. I think I'm going to try using like the blue, like this color right here. I'm going to grab that and then kind of place it on the crease, but not bring it up as high as this one. So let's see how this goes. And then I think I'll add it to the outer corner here. All right, so now that I have that, I think I'm gonna go in with the concealer and I'm gonna cut my crease, kind of. Then I'm gonna go in with that green shade and I'm gonna put that on the lid where I just placed that and hope that it sticks. So I'm gonna grab it with my finger and that's what it looks like. So it looks pigmented on my finger, but let's see how it goes. Um, you guys see that? That is crazy. I think having the concealer is something that helps with this. That's such a nice green color. Like if you guys see that, um, I don't think I've done a green like this actually. It's like a neon kind of color so it's really cool I'm debating if I want to bring it all the way out or not I think I'm gonna bring it up all right so that is pretty pretty cool I actually really like that that's pretty pigmented so I'm gonna go back in with that like color right here and just kind of pat it on there again and so it's not like harsh or anything with the green that I just placed. I'm back. I went ahead and did the eyes. Um, so it was really cool. I, I really liked the way the shadows came out, especially that green one. I wasn't expecting like this amount of pigmentation, but you guys saw that with my finger, how it worked very nicely. So with that, um, I did have some fallout with the green. So I did have it on the like inner corner and like kind of under, but wasn't super like dramatic, crazy or anything like that. So that's about it. Um, I don't think I had any with the like orange red one. Um, it worked really fine and it blended out very nicely. So very impressed by this. I wasn't expecting it, but um, so there's that one. Now I'm going to move on to the face. So again, I don't have any primer, so we're just going to put it on just like that and hope that it goes good. So I'm going to go in with this one. This is the Crystal Blur Illuminating Foundation, Rose Quartz and Jasmine. And I got the shade Medium Yellow, so hopefully um, it goes good. Like I said, their range is not very good. And, you know, I hope that, you know, in the future they do come out with a lot more and can expand 
to a big variety and like I said this is the old one but with the new foundation I do believe they came out with 30 shades I think so we'll see I want to see if I can test that one out too but I do want to try these that I you know purchased um, so this one it just says apply to clean skin that's basically it doesn't tell me anything to prime so I'm just gonna go with it so this is what it looks like okay so that looks pretty light yeah that looks pretty light like too light maybe I don't know maybe if I blend it out we'll see I'm gonna try it out um it it is like kind of thick it's not runny or anything like that it does feel thick but like hydrating I don't know it's kind of that's how it feels on my hand I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and see So, I don't know if you guys can see, it's pretty light. And I feel like it kind of dries quick, so you kind of have to work with it fast. So I'm just going to apply some on the sponge and then put it on. Oh, well, that's like this side of my face with the foundation. And like to me, like I'm looking at the mirror and it looks pretty like white it's like even i think lighter than my neck so i don't know i don't really see too much yellow in it maybe very little but um uh yeah so this is what that looks so this is my skin with no foundation this is the side with foundation on so i'm just gonna have to bronze up I did the face and as you guys can see hopefully you guys can see it I had to bring it down to my neck and still it's just I don't know like you can tell between my my shoulder here you know the shade is on my face is much lighter so I'm gonna have to really hope that the bronzer works really good so I can bronze it up now I'm gonna go in with the concealer and see how it looks under the eyes yeah and and I would say work in sections like the foundation was thick and it I did notice that it dried up fast so just do little by little don't work don't put it all on and then try to blend it because I feel like it's not going to blend out I felt like it was kind of starting to do that for me this one is the one I did the concealer on and then the, the one with nothing I think maybe a little bit like it brightened it up but I'm not sure this one feels kind of dry so that's it. Um, I really have to bronze up my face. But I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eyes and I don't even know if I want to set everything else because it feels uh, like I'm getting some dry patches and that could be because there's no primer. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go in with the Neutralizing Mineral Mattifier Soft Focus Translucent Powder with Cherry and Coconuts. So that's what the packaging looks like. So, um, this one they only had two shades, I think. They only do two. So I got, so I got the shade two. So very nice. Uh, it's like cardboard, um, material so you can recycle it and everything. So I like that. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see that. That almost took like that dewiness that I have on the side under here do you see how that removes the dewiness from the under eyes and i i almost feel like it does take some of the product out now it kind of just looks like my under eyes are dry kind of so that's the mattifying powder now um i need to bronze up my face so i'm gonna go in with this palette here oh I'm gonna bronze up because I really need to. So I'm gonna grab this bronzer right here. Um, the one I'm grabbing is called a bronzed. So that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna grab a crown brush and then hopefully this kind of helps. I'm gonna 
leave it like that. So I'm gonna go in with the blush called Flushed. That looks pigmented, but we will see. So yeah, it's there. Like just if I keep blending it, and then also if I dragged it down too much, but it's okay because I kind of need that color. And I almost feel like it minimized my pores a little bit, like just around here. So I don't know if that is the blush that's doing that or what. And just add a little bit of that blush. The next thing I want to do is do the mascara. This is the Black Crystals Supercharged Extending Mascara. So that's the packaging and then... The mascara is like in a white tube, so it just looks like this. This one looks really nice. It's not very big or anything like that. So, let me test this out. I don't know if you guys can see my lashes, but the mascara applied very nicely. No clumping or anything. Now that I kind of have that done, this one right here. These are actually like cream ones, the highlights. So, whoa, that's very creamy. Yeah, so it's like on my finger. So I'm gonna place it and then um, see if I can just blend it out with my finger. Okay, so you almost see it. It's not like super blinding, but if you want something natural, this would do a glow within so that's a really nice um highlight again it's a cream one so you just kind of have to blend it out and i would say like do it as you're applying don't let it sit there in case it dries up Alrighty, and then i'm going to grab that same shade and add it to the inner corners it gives you a little like shine in there but it's not super crazy my camera ended up like it stopped recording because my battery was like low it was like flashing red and i didn't notice it so um you didn't see i don't know what the last thing you saw but you guys didn't see me apply the gloss that i used which was the enlightened gloss nourishing mineral lip shine so the box looks like this and then the lip gloss is like this and then this is in the shade poppy so this is what it looks like and it kind of goes good with the look because it's not like super intense and then it's not like super light or anything um so it is a lip gloss it's very comfortable on the lips so this will give you moisture so when i was applying it it smelled like straight up donuts so you know when you walk into a donut shop like you just smell that that's exactly what i smelled when i opened this like straight up donuts so if you're a person that loves donuts or likes anything sweet you might like this you might be tempted on like licking it off and just like eating it or whatever but um yeah if you guys get a chance like to like actually see these like in the store like try and smell it and let me know if you think it smells like donuts because i thought that's what this smells like i don't know if they all smell the same or they have different scents it could be a thing i don't know and then um, I went in with the Crystal Dew, the setting spray with the Rose Quartz and Flower Extracts. So I used this and I just used it to set everything in place. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh, um, you also didn't see me because there wasn't a brow product from Pacifica. Like I, I think I mentioned that they only have like a gel. Um, I went in with the palettes. And I actually went in with that dark shade right here. It's I want to say it's like a black, like black blue or something. And I just grabbed it with the like tapered brush like this. I just used it and I kind of packed it on the eyebrows, and just kind of make it a little bit like darker, like fuller. But I did I wasn't like precise with you know the the ends or anything like that, so they're not super clean, but. I ended up doing that because my eyebrows were like kind of like not visible and uh, so I went ahead and did that but yeah that's basically it as far as all the products from Pacifica except of course the CC cream. I think I'll do this on a separate video so if you guys want to see um, me test this one out let me know. 
um, and then I'll go ahead and do a video on that and then I can use like do a different look or something or use the shadows from the other palettes but um, overall I was very impressed with this eyeshadow palette you guys see the colors they're just vibrant they blend it out very nicely and versatile I mean I used it for my brows too so this was pretty amazing the mattifying prime uh, the mattifying powder I feel like it's cool M maybe it was just because you know I didn't have a primer and um, everything just kind of made it seem a little bit dry like some dry areas so I'll have to test this out again and see you know if it's that or it's just for my skin my skin just doesn't like it then this one um, I didn't use the eyeshadows but I used the uh, bronzer and the blush and then the highlight right here highlight beautiful it's creamy you guys can blend it out very nicely the blush and the bronzer are very good they do have some pigment in them and you know I didn't want to go like super like crazy with it uh, so those work really nice and yeah so I still have to try the shadows to see how those are but uh, this is it's kind of thick you know but you can travel with this because it has basically everything you need for your face except you know obviously foundation and concealer but this one was great then the concealer of course I think this one is a little bit too light and then also it's a little bit drying so it doesn't have like that hydrating kind of feel to it um so like when you apply it you kind of have to go in more and then just get more product out and maybe because it's dry or something so the dryness and maybe the shade it wasn't perfect for me the mascara very nice didn't it wasn't clumpy the wand is awesome it's perfect it's perfect for my bottom lashes i'm i'm very picky with wands so that one is very nice i do feel though that my lashes are they're not like keeping its curl now it's just me i have very flat lashes and it's hard for mascaras to keep that curl on me so um this one worked really nice though um lip gloss another good one it's very moisturizing it gives you some color and you know when you like have glosses and they're just kind of like nasty you get that like little i don't know like like residue or something on your lips um yeah that's not the case with this so i like that one and they do have different shades foundation mm, uh, it's just a shade very off and then the other thing was with this one it's it's a thick foundation i would say and um you want to work in in sections i feel like it dries pretty quickly and so it makes it hard to blend out and not end up with patches or like missing spots or anything like that uh, so yeah this one it's kind of like you know maybe I'll try it out again but this time with the primer and see if that helps and then the setting spray very good it has a really nice mist and it smells really good too um, so yeah I, that's basically all the stuff that I tried again of course not the CC cream because I went with the um, foundation the illuminating uh, going back to the foundation it is an illuminating one and I have to say that's one thing that this foundation does have it gives you that like kind of dewy look to the skin without looking like greasy or anything and it looks just like natural like your own skin well I hope you guys enjoyed this like full face of using just one brand um, I feel like it's kind of fun you try to test different things out from the same brand and you know come up with a look so this is the one that I created and I hope you guys enjoyed it. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your bell notification so you know when I post new videos. And also don't forget to share this video with your family or friends. And I will see you guys for the next one. Bye guys. This one, this is their Solar Complete Color Mineral Palette Bright Ass. <laughs> oh my gosh sorry you guys <laughs> sometimes i speak like i try to speak too fast and then just i start mumbling things but it's bright eyes i can do because it's not isn't oh